all right so here we have bitcoin on bybit on the one hour uh as you can see we are still in this damn range but now is the time to pay attention because i think the range is almost over as you see on your four hour your bbwp is turning around from a very low read so as soon as it crosses this moving average i think we break the range now right now the probability is a little more to the downside um, but we'll find out because we could come down here and get a trap. This is scenario number one. We could come down here and get a trap and then come back up. And if that happens, I do think that we could probably break the top of the range, come back up into here, possibly even up to the 200 at 22K. Um, right now, your RSI, which is a momentum oscillator, your RSI and your MACD right here are both momentum oscillators. They judge bullish and bearish momentum. Your BBWP down here measures volatility. So when it is below its moving average, it's basically consolidating and the uh, volatility is contracting. And when it's above its moving average, that means the volatility is expanding. So on your four hour, your RSI is entering the bearish control zone. All right. And we are below the signal line. It wouldn't take much to get back above that signal line, though, 19,762. Um, so not too far off, but we did get rejected from the neutral median line once again, having some trouble getting above this level on the RSI. And looks like we're going to enter the bearish control zone. If we break this last low on the RSI in the bearish control zone, I think we go deep into the bearish control zone, probably down to this level at the 33.5 level. Uh, right now, your MACD looks like your positive momentum is waning on the histogram right here. Uh, so if you do start printing dark red bars below this low on the histogram, that's not going to look good. That would also imply that we get across to the downside of the signal line, which would be at 19,587. So basically $100 off and we'll cross that signal line to the downside, and that will not look good. As I said, your BBWP is printing a very low read but it is turning around finally. So the range is about over. Let's go down to the one hour. So on your short term time frame, you are below the signal line. Uh, you are in the bearish control zone. So if anything, we could get a retest of the 45.0 level, top of the bearish control zone, and then resume down, which wouldn't be very surprising. Uh, your MACD, your negative momentum is increasing on the histogram and your MACD line is below your signal line and both of them cross the zero line. Um, so not looking too good there. BBWP is trying to work its way up into the upper zone. Uh, it is above its moving average and I do think it will stay above its moving average, especially because the four hour is turning around. Um, but we could stair step down here. Um, basically, if we can't get back above this last high in the 21, probably gonna test the bottom of the range. If we can get back above this last high, this little range we got right here and this 21, I think we could come up to the 100 at 19,900. Um, and then we'll come back to it because if we can get above the 200, then we're going to start uh, thinking about coming up to the top of the range at 2,500. Right now, we do have the POC point of control on the VPVR here to your right, which measures horizontal volume at a certain price level. Um, we do have that right above us. Basically, that's where we got rejected from, that and the 21. Now, one thing to note is we have not been able to get, since we dropped below this 200, we have not been able to get uh, above it. I mean, we had a couple fake outs, some closures above it, but look, it's been holding us down the whole time. We have got rejected once again from the 200. Let's go to the stochastic and Bollinger Bands. So your stochastic has some strong downside curvature. Looks like it's going to enter the oversold region. Now, that doesn't mean that it's automatically going to turn around um, because you can stay in there for a while. It just means that it's not very sustainable and it wouldn't take much to turn it back around. But you can stay in there for a while. As you see, you stayed in here through this whole move. You entered right here, stayed in through this whole move, and then popped back out. So definitely staying nimble right now. You got your POC point of control coming in right here at this uh, bear order book right here. 
Um, basically, it is a supply zone. And yeah, so we will expect some heavy resistance from there. Uh, this new indicator is the TD sequential. Um, and I just started using it. So before I include it in the videos, I'm still, you know, getting seasoned on it. Um, I have not used this before, but uh, I have been looking for more range chart indicators. So I'm going to try this out, see how it works with my strategy. And, you know, we'll go from there. All right. So back to the trend chart. So yeah, basically, if we can pass the POC point of control on the VPVR at basically 20K, I do think we come up to the top of the range. Now, what happens at that point is another story. The higher probability is that we test the bottom of the range right now. Um, so, and remember, every test of the bottom of this range makes it weaker. So if we come down here and test and then break through, and come down to like 19.4 and then come back up and retest maybe even 19.3 and then come back and retest and resumption I think we start working our way to 16k now if we come down here at the 19300 400 level and then get back into the range I would expect that to be a, uh, a uh, bull trap so definitely watch the bottom of this range you know, and especially when we break it, you know, it's either going to be a retest and resumption or a uh, bull trap or a bear trap. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I got like two hours of sleep last night. It seems to happen a lot with me. Um, so let's move on to Ethereum. By the way, if you guys are liking this video so far, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below, one being the Discord. A lot of good conversation about trading, investing, and crypto in there. I mean, we basically cover it all. We stay ahead of the curve. Definitely join the Discord. Um, also, you know, there's some exchange links. You get free crypto. I get free crypto. Turn on those bell notifications so you get notified with this time-sensitive content. All right, so here on Ethereum, on the one hour, we're on our trend chart right now. Your BBWP is contracting. So basically, we could... You know consolidate here for a little bit you know we're basically consolidating in between all major moving averages basically they're contracting so whenever these start multi-crossing and start fanning out as your momentum gets out of the neutral zone uh, that's when the move is going to happen so definitely pay attention to your bbwp and then pay attention to these moving averages pay attention to your momentum right now your rsi is in the neutral median zone um, looks like we're going to come up and test the neutral median line. We will have some pretty high resistance there, especially since the signal line is working its way down. So we'll find out if we get rejected from the signal line and come back up, come back down to the top of the bearish control zone. I do think we'll have a small bounce there, probably up to this level, these last lows, and then enter the bearish control zone. Right now your MACD fresh cross to the downside of the signal line. Negative momentum is increasing. If we cross that zero line, that means we're probably going to get rejected from that signal line on the RSI. So definitely watch that. Uh, like I said, your BBWP printed a very low read. We haven't really got su uh, substantially above our moving average yet. So we'll wait for that. Let's move on to the range chart. So let's see here. Right now your Bollinger Bands are contracted. Um, so, I mean, you're basically going sideways. So, definitely, you're going to have resistance at 16, oh, 1610, and you're going to have support at 1525. Um, so, definitely watch those levels. If you start making closures above or below the bands, that would uh, signify high probabilities of continuation in th at that point. Um, stochastic is pointed up, but we are below the signal line so the, we are on the current tick right now so uh we have 37 minutes to go to decide what the stochastic wants to do um if it does regain its downside curvature i would expect us to come to 1530 1525 to the bottom of that band and then we'll come back to it 
Uh, let's go to, so yeah, basically the bullish case for Ethereum is that we get above this purple zone at basically 1600. If we can get above 1600, I do think we would retest these last highs at 1650, but ultimately I think we would get to 1700 if we can break this purple zone and turn this momentum bullish. Now, if we break the 200, by the way, we have our POC point of control and the VPVR coming right at the, these, this high of this last breakdown point. That's going to be high resistance at 1580. All right, so <clears throat> bearish case is that you break 200. Break the 200 on a one-hour closure. I would expect a small bounce at the 1500 level. Ultimately, I think we would come back down to 1400, maybe 1420. That would also imply that we get deep into the bearish control zone. Your MACD follows through on this cross of the zero line. And your BBWP gets back above its moving average, starts working its way up into the upper zone. Um, so definitely watch Bitcoin right now because Bitcoin is going to dictate a lot what happens. All right, so let's move on to Solana. Right now, Solana is finding support at the bottom of our purple zone. Uh, we did uh, breach the POC to the downside, so now we're going to have high resistance there. We are deep in the bearish control zone. MACD, fresh cross of the zero line, negative momentum is increasing on the histogram, and we are breaking these last lows on the histogram. BBWP is expanding, so your volatility is starting to uh, go to the upside. We are far above its moving average. I mean, here it comes for Solana. And Solana don't look too good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and you got all your moving averages curling over. You know, if Solana can't get back above this purple zone at 3190, it's going to be bad, uh, in my opinion. You know, basically, if we can get back above this last high at 3250, I do think we would come all the way up to 3450. But the probability of that happening is a lot less than us going to the downside. Basically, if we break these last lows at 3080, I would expect a small bounce at the $30 level. But ultimately, I think we would come down to 2850. We break 2850, next stop, $26. So <clears throat> watch Bitcoin. Solana could do its own thing. Uh, Solana is down a little more than Bitcoin right now by about 1%. But if we do breach these last lows at 3080 and get deeper in the bearish control zone, your MACD follows through, get your signal line over the zero line as well. As your BBWP keeps working its way up, this could get really ugly. And I would guess that we probably come down to 2850. All right. So let's move to the four hour. So right now, your four-hour BBWP is very low. I mean, we're basically going sideways here. A uh, little bit down to the right. Uh, RSI just crossed its signal line, working its way down to the bearish control zone. Um, let's see, do we have any divergences? Uh, yes, we do. We have bearish divergence here on the four-hour from this high to this high. So... I mean, it's looking like Solana's going down. It does. Uh, you know, if Bitcoin goes sideways, Solana could go down. If Bitcoin goes up, Solana will probably follow. Maybe not as much. If Bitcoin goes down, Solana's probably going to crack down. Um, <clears throat> let's go to the range chart. All right, so we got rejected from the top band, and now we're working our way. We did cross the 20 MA, which is the middle band on the Bollinger Bands, and now we're working our way down to the bottom band, probably at 3060. Stochastic sharp downside curvature below your signal line, working its way down to the oversold region. Uh, once again, I mean, all the variables are pointing to Solana shit in the bed. Um, and... So yeah, if you're holding Solana, definitely stay nimble right now um, and watch Bitcoin because Bitcoin is going to dictate a lot what happens here. Once again, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below. Join the Discord. Uh, and everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening. And I will see you tomorrow.